it's Karen from Wellness Works Northwest. How you doing out there? Yeah, it's that time of the year when it's it's beginning to be a little cold, huh? <clears throat> and a little wet here in the beautiful Pacific Northwest. Ha! Huh? But don't let that get you down. That rain out there is just liquid sunshine. That's right. You ever met a person who no matter what was going on, they seemed to just have that mindset, that positive mindset for the moment. Bam! This is what we have to do. We're going to do it. And here's how. Boom! And you look at those people and you're glad they're there. You're like, now that's a leader. Somebody that can do that. Well, I want you to know you could be just like that too. It's all about mindset. What's going on between your two ears? Nowadays, you hear mindset a lot. People are talking about the, uh, having the proper mindset, and making sure this is happening. And basically, let's just break it down for us. Mindset means that you're going to make the most of what's happening right now. You're going to have that proper mindset. How can you act with this situation where it's not going to make you feel bad, look bad, or ruin someone's day? That kind of thing. Now, most of us out there are chronically ill, so we don't get a lot of warning when the next flare is coming. So what we're going to do is we're going to be mindful. It's like, okay, I want to make sure I have my clothes set out in the morning so that it's not going to be as hard because I know mornings are hard and they're even harder if I'm in a flare. So, boom, that's something else you can do to give yourself that proper mindset to make the most of that moment so you can say, great, Mornings are rough, but I'm in it to win it. Bam. I normally have like five different things I do in the morning so I can get through it. I'm not a morning person, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so what I do is I've got to have the proper mindset. Start out in the morning, proper mindset. Don't start out with email or anything like that blaring at you. I like to start off nice and easy, and I love my coffee. So if I can get that first cup of coffee in there, I'm doing well. And just take time to kind of breathe. If you're spiritual, you might want to pray. Take time for you so you're preparing your mindset for the moment. So no matter what happens, what's thrown at you, you've got those things done. Whatever it is, you think about it. Spend some time thinking or journaling if you do that. What do I really, what can I do every day that's going to make me the best person I can be? Because right now you're just focusing in on you so that you can be the best. And if your schedule is boom, flip-flopped and, and you're an overnight worker or whatever, you might want to do that at night before you go on your shift. Whenever. Take that time for you. Mindset is important. It's what you can control. Several things you can't control, but you can control your mindset. Very, very important. And your mindset, probably one of your top five things is a what? What? That's right! Exercise! Move it, move it, move it. How did, how did you guys know I was going to say that? Thank you very much. That's right. You have to move it, move it, move it. Now, as things turn out, a lot of us won't be able to use our gyms for a while, but that's still no reason not to move it. That's for sure. I'm a big person when it comes to stretching. Some people disagree with that. And I'll do, eventually I'll do a whole YouTube on that one. But right now, I, I love to stretch. And, and that's just the way it is. So I'm going to teach you a stretch. And we're going to do some things to help those thighs. Oh, those thighs. Oh, my goodness. When I was a baby, people would come in and visit me. And they would say, they'd tell my mother, look at that child's thighs. Oh, they're so big. <laughs> They still say it. I'm kidding, they don't. Anyway, I'm gonna stretch. Watch this. This is a hamstring stretch. Woohoo! All right, you're down just like this. Nice and easy, take your time. Now, if the doctor's told you not to move like this, don't. But if you're okay with this, just reach out and really what you're trying to do, these hamstrings, beautiful muscle. It's a triplicate, lovely muscle. And you gotta stretch that puppy. Nice and easy, because you're thinking, oh my thighs. If you're like me, eat potatoes, it goes straight to your thighs. <laughs> nice, good stretch. There it is. Woo! And you can feel that. Okay. Then you're going to jump up just like this. And you're going to say, I'm going to work my thighs. So you're going to jump up. Now we're going to do a plie. <laughs> I had to practice that. I never could say that. Anyway, so you're going to put one foot this way and one foot this way. Dancers have no problem with this. Me, uh, Okay, so you're right here. You're taking your time. Now I'm going to go back just a little bit. So 
I can do this just right. Woohoo! This is fun stuff. You look forward to it. You already feel your thighs going, what is she doing? Super. So now what you're going to do is go way down. Way down is what you can. That's it. And come back. Woo! Feel that? That's what I'm talking about. Right here. That's good stuff, isn't it? I know what you're thinking. What has she got me doing? Boom! You knock out about 10 of those puppies. Woo! And you're feeling good. Yeah! So that's the plie. I love that. That is really good stuff. Now, something else that we can do for those wonderful thighs is we're going to put our leg, our right leg, just like this. Then we're going to go over to the side. Now watch your knee. Try not to get your weight over your knee. Watch me. It's going to feel really good right there. Now we've already stretched. So that hamstring is like, okay, I know something's coming. That is why we stretch to kind of prepare that muscle for what's about to happen. Woohoo! Feels good, doesn't it? Come on, one more time. You got this. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. Cool. And come back. And then now we're going to go right over to the other side. That's right. And you're going to take your time just nice and easy. There you go. Nice and easy. Watch that knee. Don't put your weight over your knee. Woohoo! Nice and easy. One more time for me. Nice and easy. And it's okay if you can't go down all the way. That's not what's important. These things are really going to help you with those thighs. And you'll do them for a while and you'll begin to be more flexible. Take your time. Don't be hard on yourself. When you first start this, go, my mindset is super positive because I'm going to go ahead and firm up my thighs and get things ready to go. I got this because that's what you're going to do. Nice and easy. If you need an accountability partner, get an accountability, uh, an accountability partner to kind of help you get going and make sure you're doing. You might want to text them and say, hey, Jane, bam, just got my plies done, got my stretching done, and I'm ready. Boom. And then she might text you and say she just did the same thing. Or she might just say, yeah, way to go. Mindset. You guys are absolutely wonderful. I thank you so much for all you do for our wonderful company. Thank you for your smile. I'm sending you all kinds of positive prayers and positive vibes. Watch those thighs.